this and have yourself a really good time. JT, the past to Devin, when you guys connect the moment, did it almost feel like a, a sense of relief, a burden off your shoulder to his big play? Uh, not really that. I was trying not to miss him, so I was going to uh, get some hard on the play action, so uh, I was just trying not to miss him. He made a great catch. And, uh, right away from him. But you know what I mean? You guys hit one there. It was almost like the, the offense broke open a little bit on that play. Did you feel like things were, were going the way you wanted to go at that point? Uh, that definitely helped. Uh, get a little more as far as the offense. I mean, his defense was definitely going there. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. What was going through your mind after the interception? After the interception, I was like, JT, you know you shouldn't be doing it, but you still do it. Now you got to make up for it. <laughs> How do you feel you made up for it? Uh, just getting us in the right play, not trying to do too much. Uh, I mean, I wasn't trying to, trying to make a throw or anything like that, so I just tried to settle down and uh, be smart with football. JD, what did you expect? Was it the last time you played the game was a high school stadium? Today you come out there, you're in an NFL stadium against a service academy team that's a pretty scrappy group. How difficult was it to make that transition? Um, I don't think it was crazy as far as the transition when I was here. Um, I was here last year, so I was here already for a year, and the way we prepare, um, you would think it would be crazy as far as our preparation before a game, so it wasn't too much of a big transition. JT, what did you uh, expect today? I mean, you haven't talked to us since you were, since everything happened. I mean, can you take us through the whirlwind of what it was like to go from being the backup to the starter, and you know, how you handled the transition, and then what did you expect out of yourself today? Uh, it was definitely uh, hurt uh, us as emotion as far as when Braxton went down. But I mean, what we're we gonna do? I mean, we're not about to just sit there and just start losing. So uh, st try to grab the reins and keep on going as far as you know, the offense. And I mean, it was just the week before I got announced that I was the second uh, string quarterback. So it was just one of those deals. Like, well, I mean, we're not gonna look at each other. Just. Just lose, I guess. I mean, so we guys keep going and just play like we did today, and we'll be all right. That's how it is.